Hi everybody, it's Susie. Hope you all are doing great today. Oh, I'm so excited. I've been a busy little bee. And speaking of little, that's exactly where I'm going with this. So um, I wanted to talk to you really quick before I show you what I've been making. And these are items that are going to be um, in my new store. Uh, how that is going to work, um, it's going to actually be a Facebook group. And uh, I'm going to show items that I'll be making, and if somebody is interested, they could buy that one particular item. There will not be lots of of items. For example, if someone has an internet store and they have 25 yards of a particular lace or trim or button, you know, you can put an order in, you want this many, you want that many. My shop is not going to be like that. And for those of you who will be interested, uh, please follow my Facebook page and, and I will post it publicly where you can go once everything is up to date and running. In the meantime, I'm so excited to share this with you. And all of you know that my craft is, I hope you know this, is of a usable size. Um, I'm going to just quickly take you away because it's messy. But... Um, my Marie Antoinette pillow, it's a usable size. It could sit on a desk, on a chair, on a sofa, on a bed. Um, my hats, they can be used for anything. A birthday party, a bridal shower, you name it. Halloween, New Year's Eve, hats. Um, anything, you know, like these little boxes that I have, another Marie Antoinette pillow, a crown, they're, they all, you can fit that on your head, you know, um, I'm sorry it looks a little bit messy, I'm kind of redoing things, a mask can be used at a carnival, at a party, New Year's Eve, Halloween, so forth, a heart, you can give it to somebody, spray it with perfume, anything, here's some of my, um, Halloween, uh, sorry, Christmas ornaments. You can use those on a tree. You can use the pins on a tree. There's that crown that I made uh, not long ago for Mar Marie Antoinette extravaganza. So as I was saying, everything is always of size. that You can use it, display it, wear it. And here is where the change comes in. I wanted to change some things up for myself. I wanted to think outside of the box of the usual norm that I'm always doing and I'm not necessarily talking about my flowers in this instant I'm talking about something that I started messing around with um, these are all made from scratch and designed from scratch by me and as far as I can see I have not seen anybody do these exactly like the way that I'm doing them and these will all be for um, for you to see today and in my new uh, online group and available for future purchase. And so I'm, I'm going to show you. I've been making these awesome, awesome hangers. They are so much fun. Um, these would be great for fronts of cards. And to show you, um, this is with the ruler there. It's a little over two inches tall and a little over almost three inches in the width. I'm sorry, I'm holding the camera with one hand. And these are really, really adorable. They can go on a card. You can, you know, have 50 of these made for like a bridal shower. Um, you can put them on display in your craft room. You can hang things from them, just absolutely adorable. But that's not the only hanger that I made. And as I was going along with this craft, I started to become um, a little drastic, and I was changing up colors, changing up the direction of the hanger. Um, as you can see, really, really cute. This one is cream with a nice seam binding in cameo beige. Just absolutely adorable. And so I have a bunch of things here, so I hope you can be patient as I'm going along to show you. Here's one that's a little bit larger, um, as you can see in comparison. Next to those, it's quite a bit larger. Same idea with the trim and the seam binding. It's a sturdy hanger. It's small but sturdy and absolutely adorable. Um, and as I was going along, um, 
you know, I, I started getting different ideas as I was going along with these, and I'm going to show you, including this, is uh, several different ideas that I have my own take on this. Um, and this one is also larger, but I decided to get Jurassic in the um, the handle of the hanger where you would hang it up. You can see it's much longer than the bottom half. Just kind of make it a little weird looking, but really super cute. I mean, really absolutely adorable uh, for crafts. Um, definitely um, to add to projects, to your um, mini album covers. Anybody that's had like a christening or a wedding. He has another great one with some handmade seam binding, just giving it a super shabby, chic, vintage kind of look. Really sweet. Very well made. You see nothing's happening to it. It's definitely firm. Nothing going on with it. Made very, very well. So, um, and you know, and you can see as I'm out going along here that the hangers are getting a little bit larger. Um, and just in case someone is thinking about like how large this one is five inches tall um and almost five inches in the width very very pretty this is with a um heavy duty wiring and um really pretty wide pink trim just really pretty and this one is also small but not that small but i added a flower on um, I'm actually making some of these for somebody who is not a YouTuber and not a Facebook person, um, but is uh, using these as gifts. So I made one with a flower so they can get an idea on how it looks. And also this one, which is quite large, not as heavy duty as the other one, but can definitely be a really, really sweet little side table accent, something very pretty in a shabby chic desk. Or even if you have like some type of type of large um, project that you're working on that you want it to be very girly, you can certainly use this maybe to hang a doily on, or um, you know maybe pin some pretty little pearls or different gadgets to hang from there. Really cute. So here is where the the, the other idea part comes into play, and I have seen these in life size, in. Um, an exclusive store that sells wedding gowns and very, very fancy dresses. And I thought that I would take it to the next level of mine um, and try to create something very, very sweet. So what I did was, was instead of using the trim, I decided to create them using pearls. Now you can see that holding this, um, you know, with my hand, uh, it's very, very tiny, and it, it is absolutely beautiful. And this one is in a taupe color uh, with a, a cream uh, cream beige seam binding and little some little flowers. It's really, really sweet. And uh, I just want to go in order here. And this one, I exaggerated the handle again. It's kind of twirled in, giving it like an old-fashioned look. They're really, really cute for a, a christening or like a wedding present tied to the top of a box. There's so many things that you can do with it, giving a great presentation for whatever it may be used for, along with one that is now larger. Uh, forgive me, I, I need to get my eyes checked again, so I'm getting too close with the camera or too close with the glasses. So um, this one is in different shades of pink pearl, really, really pretty, very well made. Nothing happening to it. Very pretty. So, you know, as I'm going along, um, it's getting, uh, it's starting to, like, change up. And, um, you know, you can see uh, that the, the idea is changing itself up somewhat. I still have some more that are in limbo that are being worked on that are changed drastically. And... I am saying that this is definitely my idea in the small hanger field. So if anyone is inspired or shares a video, you could mention my name would be, would be very nice. But you can see, hopefully, um, it's really well made. It's, it's not going anywhere. It's very carefully um, uh, stranded and just really, really nicely put together. Just beautiful. That one is like a taupe and cream. 
And um, this one is one I love this, and I think this is going to go bye bye pretty soon uh, because uh, someone saw it and uh, they really want it. So um, just love it. Very, very pretty. And again, just to ensure to you, these are very well made. And everything is made by me. And here's one that's a little drastic as well. Such a nice size um, also to play with. Everything's starting to fall off the satin on the table. Just very large like taupe and white pearls. And one large one right there. And then uh, they get smaller at the top. Just really creatively put together if I may add myself. And speaking of creative, um, I just... Look at all these little hangers. They're so beautiful. I just want to move them over to the side here. Sorry for the mess. And, um, and show you some things that I'm very excited about also. I haven't made a video. I've just been going at it. Um, this is a sample that I have, which is actually a child's size hanger. And this is not good what's happening here okay uh, a child size hanger that um people use these for um bridal showers and um, i had was making some several weeks ago and um these are kind of small they're like the size of a ruler and it's width it's not the size that you would use for your lingerie or clothing in your closet it would be the size of like a 10 year old dress but again, giving is gifts for the bridal party. They work out great. So you can see that, you know, these are the padded ones that you can buy in certain stores that sell luxurious uh, things uh, for your lingerie and so forth. And for children's clothing, you may see them or you can even get them in your um, um, a very nice uh, uh, place that sells lots of fabrics and things like that. That's a little more advanced with what they carry. And that's where I got these from. Uh, so with that said, as I was making those, now what did I do with them? Okay, I decided to come up with a little bit of a twist, and here it is. So what this is, is one of my handmade hangers, and this is completely done from scratch, and I have to say, this is so beautiful, and I'm not saying it because I made it. It's just absolutely stunning. Now, um, this one in particular was made uh, with felt, and I did this because this is a perfume sachet, and in the past, me dealing with certain sachets, the stuffing and the felt really hold the scent beautifully and doesn't stain as the satin and silks and taffetas do. But, you know, you do what people want. Um, so just not trying to get too close. I handmade the flowers, and this is my style, as you can see, how I usually do. I put the flower, and I have the pearls there. And here I have some really radiant uh, uh, rhinestones and pearls and trim and this really, really gorgeous um, uh, ruffled trim that I got from my fabric store. Just absolutely stunning. He really saw me coming, the guy, because he had no idea. He kept asking me, what do you make? And I said, I don't know. What do you make? And I said, I really don't know. And I didn't know. <laughs> I just liked the lace at the time. So I'm putting that one to the side and showing you something very similar, but a little smaller, which is this one, which, oh my goodness, where's my ruler? It got lost in the shuffle here. Um, and I'm sorry, it's silver. It's the smallest one that I can find. Um, and this one without the lace is about five inches wide. Uh, and, you know, just the hanger part, like three inches, two and a half inches tall, but not counting the lace and all, it's it's quite long. So um, again, this one, the hanger is made completely from scratch. It's absolutely stunning. Um, it's made very, very well. Uh, and this one is a satin fabric or silk, whatever I used, with lots of trim and lots of lace and just very, very dolly looking and beautiful. And this, um, I believe, is the one I have to check my book that's going to be displayed in a window shop. Um, okay, where's, where's my bag? I'm sorry, I have all of these in a shopping bag. 
because I have some that are made for people already. Here's another sweetie. This one is small. It's smaller than the one that's behind it, as you can see. But again, I used some really beautiful vintage lace and some pretty flowers and ribbons and trims and the entire, all of it in, it, in its entirety is completely constructed by hand and made and sewed and designed by hand by me. Um, I guess the other ones that I had are already gone. I'm sorry. I thought that I had a couple of more um, to show you, but I don't. But what I do have is some things that I've been making um, that I'm also going to be carrying in my store. These are not finished. I didn't want to show them, but I'm going to just show them just for the sake of showing them. And um, many of us make these uh, these uh, lollipop flowers or roses or whatever you want to call them uh, using the singeing method that many of us have tried. Uh, using many different types of fabrics. Um, this one is the silk fabric. Very, very pretty with some pearls in the center. Um, some of the, uh, the construction of it is sewn, but uh, the pearls may be glued on. I don't know about this one, but for each item that I'll be listing, I will tell you uh, how it was made. Um, and here is just another color. I'm not actually finished with the construction of everything yet, so um, I hope you can take that into consideration. There's another. And I've also created some of these bubble flowers um, that are my favorite. So, so pretty. Um, sorry. Trying to get, I can't even get organized. That's how loaded I am, believe it or not. Um, and there. And so you see, like, here's, you know, here's, um, here's another one. So very pretty. I made a few of these for the summertime and wore them on my lapel. I gave some as gifts to my mom and some of her friends in different colors, and they really made quite a hit. Um, I make all the leaves also, and there's some netting in this one. This one's not finished yet. I have to put the backing on. Um, and this one is really very pretty, too. Um, this is like a, a rosebud that's going to go like on the side of one. And you'll see them all when they're finished. Oops. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry, you guys. <laughs> oh, my God. I only hope I'm not on that. Okay. And so, um, again... Here's another one. This is going to be like the fall colors. I really want to get that out there. You know, winter is coming. Fall is coming. You know, we all start changing up our colors uh, from when we're wearing things. And it even does affect our craft. So this is a really, really pretty one as well that I made. I just have to put the back on. And in the shop, uh, there's some people who might want these um, to use for their actual craft. So before I would go ahead and put like the alligator clip on the back um, or the actual um, the bar pin on the back where you can wear it with a clip or I may be putting both on, I would actually leave it blank, you know, empty with just like a piece of felt on the back covering the stitches and then you would like let me know, hey, can you add whatever and uh, I don't believe there will be an extra charge for that. So um, yeah, here's another one that I made using these really pretty buttons. That I bought from Hobby Lobby, just gorgeous. And I really, really, um, you know, every one of them are made different. I guess it's, you know, uh, how I was feeling that day. I don't even know myself, I gotta tell you. And um, again, here's um, an ivory color, really very pretty. I did one for the bride of a mom like this, and I never ever recorded it. I'm so sorry I didn't do that. It's just sometimes I don't have the time. Here's another pretty one, and this one has. Um, uh, just a uh, bar closure on the back made very well not going anywhere but this one is plain some of the ones that um, I'm going to be finishing off will be like the ones that I made for the um, for more of occasion wise and you'll see that they have lots of uh, different additives to them and you'll see that when the shop opens up um, and w just to let you guys know um, I'm also going to be 
just so that there's no surprises because I'm totally excited. What I'm going to do is, because this is a shop that's of the things that I make only, as I'm advertising the item, like say for example, this one item is X amount of dollars made from this blah blah blah, um, I am going to try and have a video at least once every now and then showing a group of things so that you can actually see it live as opposed to you know oh my goodness she's showing a photograph of that how does it look in the picture or oh, I, I don't know uh you know it's because sometimes when you see things live it's so much better than when you um when you're seeing it um uh in a photograph and um i'm i'm also doing a fall project that will be adding these uh beautiful rosebuds and the full projects are the, um, you know, let me just show you. You know, they are items that look like that. There will be more than one flower uh, that's attached on to my, um, like I have done previously. Which, I, I got to tell you, some of them I just haven't really shared because they never really stuck around. Um, even these that were on my um, Marie Antoinette, those will be like... For example, um, if I have something like that, um, you know, it might be on the side there somewhere. We'll see what happens as I'm going along. But I just wanted to show you, um, I even have this one. It's not even done yet. I mean, you can just see that this is going to be a really elaborate flower with its backup and everything else going along with it. Purple is a super, super big color this year. Uh, for you know the winter burgundies purples reds really hot and so I plan on wearing a lot of those type of things on my woolen coats my jean jacket my leather jacket I just love how it looks even on the side of my bag I mean I was stopped uh, you know I took a bunch of these things out I took them to the diner to show my mom and we had like six people over our table in like two seconds and um, on another note I'm currently, I put this on Facebook, but I'm making a purple and white made-to-order vase. And um, here's some of the paper flowers that I made. Um, I'll, I'll show that uh, when it's all finished, um, you know, in its entirety. Right now it's kind of just loose flowers. And, I, you know, I don't know what I was thinking of when this lady, she's my mother's neighbor, when she asked me, you know, about about the vase and she wants exactly like my mother has but in purple and white and I, I can't find the vase anywhere I'm either gonna have to make the vase or just you know buy a vase in general so and uh, okay that's it friends I hope that you enjoyed seeing uh, my display and all these different little things that I've put together uh, my hangers are absolutely stunning and you know please note that um, uh, right at this moment in time I would not be able to do made-to-order items because it's just me. I don't have anyone helping me at all. Um, but going forward, I can, if someone's looking for something like this and they want like 50, um, I can do the made-to-order items. It's just that they might require a slight deposit. Um, and those are the things I'm trying to stay away with as if you were in person nearby and I could see you. You know, it's different than I, you would give me a little something and then pay the rest off it's just that i've had so many experiences where at the end people change their mind or they don't have it okay everybody the phone always rings when i'm recording have a wonderful day i love you all thank you so much for your support and stay tuned bye now